Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and today I am bringing you some really easy inspired bases. I saw these a while back and I was trying to figure out how I could do something similar using items from Dollar Tree. I'm really happy with how these came out so I hope that you will enjoy. Also, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll say hi and introduce yourself in the comments. I love seeing who's watching and chatting with you guys. So for the first trio of vases, I'm starting with this funnel from the auto section at Dollar Tree. I don't know what I was thinking though, sectioning off the funnel. I tried to just do the top part white, but then there were a couple of drips and if you sand it, it will scratch the plastic, so don't do that. But I did use my nail and just scratch off the white drips to get like a more even line and that actually was pretty easy to do. I used painter's tape and a newspaper then to cover the white part and then that way I could spray the bottom part gold now. Honestly, I think that the easiest thing to do would just be to spray the whole thing white and then once it's dry, just section off with some painter's tape and newspaper and come back and paint the part that you want to be gold after. Or honestly, you could leave a portion of it black and just paint the part you want gold and have a black and gold style base. I also picked up a pack of three funnels in the kitchen section in Dollar Tree. These come three for a dollar, so they are super affordable and it's perfect because they are already white. So I just used the smaller and larger funnels and I painted them half gold. So for these, you'll probably wanna stick with single stem artificial flowers like this or go with air plants or even little faux succulents. I just realized too, but if you want to, you could probably place a small cup of water inside, like underneath the funnel, and then place your live flower stem down into that. That would probably work too. Next, I'm using one of these soap dispensers from Dollar Tree. I removed the pump and painted the entire thing white, and then I came back once it was dry. And here's a little tip. I pulled an old small sock onto here and then I just spray painted half the bottle gold. The line isn't quite as sharp as if you did painter's tape, but it was super easy to do and I just used an old sock instead of buying tape. Or if you're worried about the tape messing up your paint, the sock is super soft and gentle. It didn't pull up any paint or leave any marks. So I actually used this technique for the next bottle as well. For this one, I sectioned it off. I just used the sock to cover half of it while I painted it white and then the next day I came back and I covered the white part with the sock and painted the clear part gold and I'm pretty happy with how this little technique worked out for me obviously the tighter the sock you use the better this DIY is going to look and work that's why I used a little leftover sock from when Kylie was a baby so it's like a little tiny kid sock but Dollar Tree does carry socks and I was able to reuse the same sock a number of times for different projects so this has been working pretty well for me I decided to get creative here by pulling apart a $1 Christmas floral branch and putting the little pieces of pine greenery into the vases instead. I think this turned out super cute. Let me know what you guys think. Next, I'm taking this bowl from Dollar Tree, placing it upside down, and then gluing the bottom of this vase onto the top of the bowl. And I'm using some hot glue because I may decide to take this apart in the future to make something else with it. I don't know, but you can use something more permanent if you prefer a stronger hold. And then we're just going to take this outside, paint the whole thing white, and once it's dry, I'm coming back with a black Sharpie. And I'm going to be using an oil-based Sharpie. It's more of like a paint marker, and I'm creating a pattern similar to the one on this vase that Pier 1 sells. This does take a little bit of time to do, but it is pretty easy. I did want to really quickly point out to you guys the difference in the black. This is what the Dollar Tree um black marker looks like close up and this is what the sharpie oil based paint marker that i used looks like so you do get like a blacker black with um with the sharpie one but you know we could probably go over this a couple more times and get it to look a little bit better if you just want to do a couple coats and you can put either real or artificial flowers in here or honestly i often use vases that i make for things like pencil pen paintbrush makeup brush holders anything like that as well i even use one of the larger vases that i did in a previous video to store my plastic grocery bags in so that i can reuse them Anyway, 
I hope that you have enjoyed these ideas and were inspired. Have a beautiful, blessed day, and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!